Hi, I'm Sally England, and I'm going to show you how to make my crown knot plant hanger. This is my go-to design. It fits a lot of different shapes of bowls and baskets. So let's get started. So the materials that you'll need are four 16 foot lengths of 516 solid braid rope. And you can find this at knotandrope.com. Um, you'll also need two approximately 12 inch pieces of the same rope. You'll need a ring, and this can either be a wooden ring, which you can find at craftparts.com, or a brass ring. Um, the brass ring is recommended if you're gonna leave your plant hanger outdoors. Scissors for cutting the rope, measuring tape, masking tape, a couple zip ties. So the first step is that we're gonna take our lengths of rope, we're gonna match up the ends, Find your ring and you're going to slide the ring on and make sure it's at the middle of the ropes and you can do that by matching up the ends and then you follow that down until you find the center. Now make sure that they're all aligned and then take your zip tie, connect that zip tie at the base of the ring. You're going to go ahead and snip that tail off of the zip tie and we're actually going to do this um, sitting down. So find a comfortable seat and we'll get knotting. So you're going to take your ring and put it between your knees and separate the ropes into four sections of two. You're going to use the two ropes that are next to each other so they don't get twisted and they stay in their sections. I like to put a little piece of masking tape around the ends. But now we're ready to start knotting. To take the first section and loop it over the section next to it, moving in a clockwise motion. And you're gonna take that second section, take that section over the final section and then take that loop it through that first loop. So you should end up with something similar to this. Just take and pull gently and tighten and you have your first crown knot. At this point we can go ahead and cut off the zip tie and then we're going to retighten this crown knot. And now we're going to repeat that process going over and through and tighten. Make sure your ropes don't get twisted. And so you're gonna repeat that process, moving in a clockwise direction until you have about 10 inches of knotting. So it should end up looking like this. Now that you have your upper portion knotted, we are ready to start knotting the bottom portion. We're gonna measure where you want your bowl to sit about 20 inches down from the bottom of the top knotted portion. Loosely tie a zip tie around. You wanna make sure your ropes are straight and that they're not twisted. So you're just gonna go through, untwist the sections. And we're going to sit back down and begin knotting the bottom portion. Now you're gonna put the zip tie between your legs and separate into your four sections again. And you're gonna do the same process as you did before. Tighten. Making sure that your ropes don't get too twisted. And it looks like I have a twist going on, so I'm gonna fix that. So you'll want to have around three inches of knotting at the bottom. Carefully cut off your zip tie. Check and make sure that nothing got twisted. If your ropes do get twisted, you can kind of fake it out by twisting them back in the right direction underneath the knot there. And then once you have your pot sitting in the plant hanger, you won't be able to see it. Now you're gonna take your 12 inch sections and feed them through this very bottom knot. This just gives a more um, full look to the fringe at the end. 
Otherwise it'll have like a hollow section in the middle. If you want, you can put like a little bit of glue in there so those stay put, but generally I find they don't really go anywhere. You can take and trim your fringe and keep in mind that once you unravel, it's gonna add about two inches of length. And now you get to unravel your fringe. This is just a time consuming process. You're just gonna pull apart the individual strands. This is a great thing to do while you're watching a movie. Now that your plant hanger is finished, you can add your pot. And there you have it. If you'd like to see more of my work, you can go to sallyengland.com or follow me on Instagram at sally underscore England. I hope you had fun.